Hello everybody, this is the Yamaha DX7. How to remove uh, the surface of battery, which you're going to need to know. And i give you a general overview of the inner workings of the synth. Alright, I'll start by here, showing what you need to remove. Here, I have a screw here, here, one back here, another one here. Another one here. Okay. Then when you remove those, this thing is pretty heavy. Anybody that has a DX7 knows everything is heavy on there. It opens up like a hood on a car. I go gentle with these things because uh, when you lay it back. Actually, let me put something behind here. So I'm going to lay this down. recommend that you uh, don't stress anything more than what you have to. So I'm going to put a book and a towel so that when it lowers, it doesn't go all the way down. There you go. And there's the battery. And it is soldered in, which is kind of a bare yeah, there this is still the original battery. Still has the 2.8 volts on it. It's never been replaced. And still holding the charge. Um, so uh, I'm just going to leave it in for the way you would. You have to probably pull the board out, this main board here. Go from underneath to unsolder. They should have put a, a quick release type battery holder, but they didn't. But, yeah, that's the way it is. Um, I have a problem with this one, i got to find out. Headphone jack works, but the, the output jack, which is just a regular quarter inch tip ring. It's not stereo. There, there's not a left and right, just a one, one channel going out. So I'm going to take a look at that and see what's going on. Take a look at if anything is broken. I noticed uh, where the jacks go in, they're bent up, so something happened there. So inspect that with a magnifying glass. But here's the inners, inner workings. It is a heavily built uh, synth. Weighs uh, about 32 pounds. Too bad they didn't put uh, knobs on these. So doing everything through some funky menu. Knobs make it so much user friendly. And on the fly adjustments. Like a JD, uh, Roland JD800. Man, uh, that's the way it should be. You can have a digital sense, but have it where you can just adjust everything without having to punch in numbers through some stupid little tiny screen. Now in this particular synth, uh, I have about 25,000 patches, so I can, instead of me programming, I just download whatever set that I want. That way I don't have to fiddle with that. I, I, I've gone in and tweaked a little bit, it's not that bad, but if you have a sound set that you like, just put it in there. You know, it takes, takes 5 to 10 seconds to, once it's hooked up, get your uh, MIDI parameter set up, your memory protect turned off and as well a little setting hook up your uh, MIDI cable go for it I use MIDI aux well it takes uh, like I said 5 to 10 seconds to download a set of patches and away you go makes it much easier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to after I'm done taking the video just gonna go with a magnifying glass and see if I see anything that's broken here. So at least I can get my output without just having to use the headphone jack for as an output. Okay, well, I guess that's it for this video. I'll do a couple parts on it once I get everything up and running.